Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Fimic DIY. In today's video, we're doing a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. So the first thing that I wanted to make for the holidays was a tiered tray. And I know we've made these before, but I wanted to show you how I style this for Christmas. To make a tiered tray, you're going to need two candle holders. You're also going to need a pizza pan and two of the oven burners that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. To hold these together, you can either use hot glue or E6000. The E6000 is gonna be a lot stronger bond, but it's going to take longer to dry. So I'm using hot glue. I'm also using some previous candle holders I had that I painted gold. Um, they normally come in clear, but I was just using what I had on hand. So you're gonna start at the bottom with your pizza pan, then you're going to glue your candle holder to the center. You really want to look at it from the top and make sure you're getting it directly in the center. Then I'm gonna add some hot glue to the top of the candle holder and place my largest burner cover on top. And you wanna make sure you do it so the lip is facing up. From there, just add another candle holder to the center and then hot glue the smaller burner cover to the top the same way with the lip facing up. From there, I think the easiest way to paint these is just to spray paint them. So I took it outside and I spray painted it with two coats of white paint. To give it that enamel look, I'm just going to use some black ink paint by Waverly and a foam brush. And I'm just going to take my foam brush and lightly go around the edges to give a nice clean line around the edge. Once my tray dried, I took it upstairs to decorate it. So at the top of my tray, I'm gonna be using this snow globe that I picked up last year in the Target dollar spot for $3. I think it's adorable and it's perfect on top of here. I'm also going to be adding in this cute little Dollar Tree lantern. It came exactly like this. If you wanted to paint it, you could, but I love the color that it was. And then I also bought several packs of the two packs of Dollar Tree trees that they have out right now. And a little trick, if you want a tree to be elevated a little bit in the back, just get a clear little container on the back and you can put a tree on top of that and that'll give you some variations in your levels. For the second tier, I bought a sleigh from Dollar Tree that I thought would be really cute on here. I had a couple of antlers left over from the fall that I picked up at Walmart, and I know that they're selling them with the Christmas stuff as well. So I put an antler on there, and then I just added in a few more of those trees that I picked up. For the bottom layer, I'm gonna put some pine cones to the back. Then I wanted to add a little bit of buffalo check because that's my theme this year. So I took a buffalo check towel and just cut out a little square so I could have some fabric, folded that over, and then put that on the front. I added another Dollar Tree sled ornament, and then I put some more trees in. Now to finish this off, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle and filler. So I'm using some silver snowflakes from Dollar Tree. I'm also adding in some bells and some of their mini pine cones. I don't know if they had these pine cones last year. You guys will have to let me know if you've seen these before, but I just think these are so adorable. I've been using them in so many different things. And here's a look at how my tray turned out. If you have kids or grandkids, you know it's important to have that countdown to Christmas sign. So I wanted to make one that was a little bit different this year. So what I picked up was just a regular sign from Dollar Tree. I also grabbed one of their little wooden plaques that they have out with the new craft stuff. I also got some magnetic clips as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill the holes on my sign with a little wood filler. Once that had a chance to dry, I'm gonna come in with two coats of silver lining on the back of my sign. Okay. 
For the little wooden plaque, I'm going to paint that with Waverly White chalk paint and do two coats on that as well. For my numbers for this, I wanted to use the poster number stickers that they have at Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to grab the stickers and just cut them out. I'm not even going to take them out and put them on anything. I'm gonna use the white backing that they come on and I'm gonna cut out two of each number. Next, I used my Cricut and some black vinyl to make a sign that says days until Christmas. And then once I get that printed out, I'm just going to weed it out by pulling off the excess. And then to move it to my sign, I'm gonna use some of Cricut's transfer paper. I'll just lay that down on top, make sure it's nice and smooth, pull off the backing, and then I'll place it in the center of my sign. You really wanna make sure that you line it up before you push it down. And then once you get it pushed down, just pull the transfer paper off. If your sign comes up, just push it back down, rub it some more until you get it all on there. I wanted this sign to be a little distressed, so I used a little bit of black paint to distress the plaque as well as my sign. Next, I'm gonna figure out where I want that sign to sit as well as where I want my little clips to be up at the top. I had a little scrap ribbon. This is from Hobby Lobby and I picked it up there. It's a wire ribbon. So I'm just going to wrap the ribbon around the edges, hot gluing it to the back. And then I will put my plaque right in the center. And I'll also hot glue the clips to the top so that my kids can easily open them up and put the numbers on the clips. Here's a look at how my countdown to Christmas sign turned out. Dollar Tree has come out with some really cute dish towels this year, and I knew that they were perfect for making some little pillows to add as accent pillows. I'm gonna make a pillow with the truck one to start with. So you want to fold the towel in half so that the good side is facing in. Then I'm going to use my sewing machine and stitch around two of the sides And on the third side, I'm gonna stitch halfway up. Then I'll just flip it that it's right side out, making sure to really push those corners so that it looks right on the corners. Next, I will just fill it with any stuffing that you have on hand that will work and I'll just fill it and make sure that it's nice and flat because sometimes with these Dollar Tree dish towels, you really have to smooth it out or your pillow won't look right once you get it all done. Once my pillow is stuffed, I'm just going to come back in, tuck the edges in, and then I'm gonna pin the edges in place and then run the rest of the opening underneath my sewing machine. I also made a second pillow with the Buffalo Check dish towel that they have. And it's got like a white border to it and I didn't want that on my pillow. So when I was stitching it together, I made sure that I stayed on the black line so none of the white would show. And I turned it right side out, filled it the same way so that I had two pillows to put out for Christmas. So here's a look at how my pillows turned out. All 
All right, you guys, so those are my three projects. You'll have to let me know in the comments below which one of these three was your favorite. I think this week I'm gonna go with the tiered tray. So let me know which one was your favorite. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. I post three DIYs each week and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. I'll link our last DIY right here so you can just click here to watch our last video and I will talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.